out-of-network medical bill can be expensive, so it's not usually what you want to do. Yet a mother in Longmont told our Marshall Zellinger if that's her last resort, she'll pay out of pocket. But she and a million and a half other people in Colorado on Medicaid would be forcing doctors to commit a crime. Medicaid is different than Medicare. Medicare is mainly for people older than 65. This story is not about that. It is about Medicaid, coverage for people with low incomes and also people with certain disabilities. I'm the mother of uh, an adult child with disabilities. Mary Kieran contacted us seeking a solution to an issue impacting 1.6 million people in Colorado on Medicaid, not being able to pay out of pocket for her daughter to see a doctor who does not accept Medicaid. Oh, we can't even make an appointment for you, that's insurance fraud. And my first reaction was, well, that's offensive. What do you mean that's insurance fraud? It is actually illegal for that provider to take private pay or out-of-pocket payment from a Medicaid member. Sybil Cummin is a licensed professional counselor in Arvada. She accepts Medicaid. Medicaid members might be searching for a therapist and they may be put on a wait list for six months. And then in that six months, their mental health will decline or they just give up and they're not going to seek the services they need. Why is it that someone with private insurance can decide to pay out of pocket, but someone on Medicaid cannot? It was brought about to protect Medicaid members from being taken advantage of by some providers uh, for collecting payments out of pocket. Mark Williams is the spokesman for Colorado's Department of Health Care Policy and Financing. He said the law goes back to a change the state legislature made in 2006. It's understandable why this may not make sense to people. I don't know how to make a change, but if we don't talk about it, it'll never start. There are two takes here. One, get state lawmakers to look at this restriction. Two, have more Medicaid providers. We've done stories in the last few months about difficulties Medicaid providers have faced nearly having to pay back money for services they provided or lots of paperwork and admin work to provide Medicaid services. The legislature, Kyle, is currently working on some fixes to make it more simple to be a Medicaid provider. Yeah. But being a Medicaid provider is not simple. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, following your reporting over the last couple of months, it seems like a lot of hoops, the idea that they're knocking on people's doors to fix their own billing problems and that kind of thing. More people in that ecosystem means more options for that family. Right. And right now you may have a lot in one realm, but you may have few like in the in the case uh, of Mary, she was seeking a dermatologist. Maybe there's not m many dermatologists who uh, accept Medicaid. And so you just need to figure out we need more people in each field. That is wild, though, the idea of just like, no, no, no I want this care. I'll pay for it. Stop. That's a crime. That's crazy. Thanks you, Marshall.